Hello, it's Indira from Indie Arts Creations. Thanks for joining me. So today I wanted to do something that was like fiery. So I'm going to just put some paint on the canvas, no negative space. And then I'm going to probably run a fork through it to get the kind of look that I'm hoping to get. So I'm just going to put some stripes along the canvas and then run the fork through it and see what we get. I just wanted like black and red, orange and yellow. And um, when I came up with these colors in my mind, I didn't quite know what type of technique could get us there. So I'm going to use this crimson red. Um, but I did mix up some, a brighter red also. So we will use both. I'm going to take the cap off. It seems a little clogged. So I'll work on that off camera. <laughs> So, if I use this much crimson, I wonder. Oh, yikes, I didn't mean to do that. Big um, red right there. I've done something similar to this. Not these colors, but um, this type of technique before I created the channel. I didn't... Um, yeah, something similar. Let's see if the yellow one still cooperate. Yay. So I hope everyone is well. Staying safe. Staying in as much as possible. Only going out for essentials. Let's see. I think I'm going to put this bright red here. There'll be some times where I'm not talking. I try to talk as much as I can. But sometimes I have to focus and concentrate also. I'm gonna put a little white. I wasn't going to, but I'm just gonna put just a little. I think it'll add a little something to it. Yikes, which turned out to be more than I wanted. I see quite a few air <laughs> bubbles that I need to pop. I was hoping not to have many air bubbles since um, most of this stuff was pre-mixed, not the, not the true red, the other red. Mm -hmm. This isn't quite going as I want it, but I may need more black and I probably could have left the white. Um, let's see. Or I wonder if I could have left the yellow. So it's definitely, <laughs> the drippings look more <laughs> like what I wanted versus what's on the canvas. So let's see what we get. Maybe I shouldn't have did yellow because the yellow actually turned into another color. So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used the yellow for what I was trying to achieve. So, let's see. I'm going to try to do some damage control here. 
and I'm going to try. I really like it in here. I'm going to try to get rid of as much of the yellow as I can. <laughs> so, things don't always come out the way we want them to. That doesn't mean that there aren't good pieces. That just means sometimes our vision doesn't come out the way we thought it would when we were designing it in our head. Throw on paper, wherever you design it at. I don't want to pour too much. Yeah, but I'm really like digging this first part. So let's work on this half. Um, yeah, if we can get these colors to kind of spread, the reason I'm doing it down first is because I didn't want the colors to immediately roll off the canvas. I think that last little bit of yellow, I won't fight it too much. And we'll leave some of it. So, I really appreciate all of the support that has been shown. I appreciate the suggestions. We do have a couple of other suggestions. Um, and then I'm still going to do the marble. The inspired marble with a couple of different techniques. So we have those coming up. And I think they're coming up this week. Yeah. Yeah, so this actually, I'm going to get these sides and bring you in for a close-up. But um, it didn't turn out as fiery as I had hoped, but I think that it's fine. I would love to know your thoughts. So let me touch up the sides and everything, and I'll bring you in for a close-up. Hi, here we are for the close-up. So there we have all of the colors represented really nicely. I think I'll try these colors again minus the white and maybe a different technique. I really would like it to be fiery. I only did an 8 by 10 because I didn't know how it would come out. <clears throat> but I think when I do it again, I'm going to do it on a larger canvas. And I may try to do a little blow dryer technique and see if I can get the colors to blend really well that way. So I will pan out to let you see the whole piece. And I'm gonna zoom back in. So thank you for watching and your support. And until next time, cheers to painting.